Mm. I'm almost ready. Mm. Oh, don't you start. Okay. Come here. I don't know why you're so. Come here. Hi everybody, before we get into the solar panel install, I wanted to thank everybody for watching the videos, all of you that have bought stickers, both the original and the new lefty sticker, all of those things added up and took some of the sting out of this whole uh, solar panel debacle when I lost the panels off the truck. All of those, uh, all the views that I get, the thumbs up, I really appreciate that. It makes lets me make a few dollars from YouTube. You people that have purchased stickers, all that stuff adds up and really helps us out. So thank you all so much. Continue to watch the videos. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And we got a lot more stuff coming up in the future. If you want to get a sticker, there's a link down below in the description. Thank you all. Enjoy the video. Hi everybody so as you know replacing solar panels and deep in the thick of it right now my failure points from the first solar panels not enough brackets brackets taped not screwed some brackets screwed some only taped so what we've got now is tape and screws on all the brackets and a lot of brackets. Let me show you, I've got the first panel totally mounted, just finished it and came down to prep the second panel. So let me give you a, a glimpse real quick of what we've got going on up here. So there's the first panel back mounted up. You can see down the inside, I have brackets now, whereas before, like you can see back here, there's no brackets on these center panels. They're just screwed together to the outside panels. So now, done that differently and we have brackets holding them down. I have four brackets on the outside edge, one, two, three, four, two in the back, three down this side and four across the front. So some of you out there are gonna say that that's overkill, but these are not coming off unless I take them off. I'll tell you what, I learned my lesson. Brackets are cheap. I can seal up all the holes where the screws are. I'm not worried about it leaking. They've all got 3M4950 tape on them and self-tapping screws. So those, there's no way those are coming off. I don't care what kind of wind you throw at it. I should say I would be highly, highly surprised if those ever get blown off of the truck. So I'm getting help from uh, Paul over here in his four-wheel drive van he's here helping me hoist things up and down so i'm just uh, i've got the second area sanded isopropyled and just going to prep all the brackets on the second panel and get it hoisted up there and get it stuck down
There we go, look at the joyousness that is six solar panels. Is that enough brackets? Wow, <laughs> look at all that. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, compared to three that used to be there. Wow. Four down the side. It used to be two down the side. And I wonder if having the, the gap between them, which will let air release instead of the whole thing being like a sail, you know? Yeah, could probably help. It's a theory. Relieve a little pressure. Yeah. So I'm just going to get these wires tidied up and I'm going to get the... Uh, die core and then some all-weather tape over top of this and that'll be it But these are all installed taped down screwed down glued riveted welded Good job Putting down 36 amps to the batteries right now I wired I plugged them in about 10 minutes ago, it's already jumped up 6%. It's climbing, you just saw it click 92.8. So now I'm back on track. Because these last couple weeks, I've been really having trouble with my electricity. Having to like leave the inverter off all day just so that these would the batteries would get charged up to 100%. So this morning I got up and put die core over top of all the screw heads. Let's take a look at what we got. So you can see all the screw heads of the brackets now have die core on them. And you can see, you know, I just basically put a, a big dollop of it right on top and you can see how it spreads out itself and self-leveling i mean that's what it's that's what it's famous for is it's self-leveling and so it puts a nice little protective cover over the screws to keep water from seeping down underneath them now once this cures up in a couple of days i'm going to go ahead and add the all-weather tape over top of all of this so it will be a piece that will basically be shaped like a kind of like a u and it goes around the bracket so it'll it'll uh, be back here and then cover the front side and then down the other side Explain it, i guess and i didn't want to film the die core because the last thing i wanted was getting die core all over my camera and i really had to pay close attention to make sure i didn't drip any on the panels themselves so I was using my hand underneath the gun. As I pulled the gun up, I'd put my hand under it to catch any drops, which it, you know, it did spood some out. So, so a couple of days, like I said, we'll let that cure and then we'll put down the, I bought Gorilla brand, just happens to be laying right here. So this is waterproof patch and seal tape. It's a four inch wide roll, 10 feet on a roll. They show some pictures here of what you can use it for, and they just happen to show an RV, and somebody's got a real hack job putting tape on their window there. I guess it would seal it up. It's not very pretty, but uh, so a lot of people use this for um, RV work. It's UV resistant. It's water resistant. It doesn't discolor, and there's a lot of brands of this. Uh, so I just went with a, a name that I recognized and got it off Amazon. So all the stuff that I used during this whole installation of the panels and all that, I'll have links below in case you guys need anything similar. You know, obviously I use the rich solar solar panels. I was hoping that they would give me some help. Maybe just, you know, all I was looking for was maybe a discount code for any of you people that wanted to go ahead and buy some panels um, that I could share with you guys, you know, a 10% off or something like that. Thanks everybody for watching. This is a long video, obviously. Um, 
was a lot of work to get all the parts and pieces together to get these things reinstalled out here. Really wasn't difficult of an installation, just a, you know, a bunch of work. So all the products will be linked below if you guys need anything. Thanks everybody for watching. Everybody be really good. We'll see you again really soon. Take care, be safe.